I've spent my professional career involved in the liberal arts, and I've always admired Denison. Um, and throughout the search process, as I got a chance to know the institution better, um, I just came to admire it even more. Denison has a great story to tell. Fantastic faculty, wonderful students, beautiful facilities, strong reputation, really devoted and committed staff. Um, I think most colleges and universities in the U.S. would love to be in the kind of position Denison's in. So to be frank, I'm, I'm honored and thrilled to be part of the community. I think there's three things that are unique about Denison. The, the first is the commitment to the liberal arts. Um, in a historical time period when so many colleges have turned their back on the liberal arts, Denison hasn't. Over and over again, Denison has recommitted itself to the liberal arts. Um, the second is the commitment to active learning and active pedagogies. Um, Denison teaches the way most people learn. And the third is the people. Uh, you know, I've run across Denison people my entire life, um, and I've always liked them. They're the kind of people you want to be around. Um, the students, the, the faculty, the alumni. Um, it's just a place that has a real heart and soul um, filled with people who really care deeply about it and, quite frankly, who represent the institution really well. The world desperately needs the kind of graduates places like Denison produce. Um, the values, the skills, the habits, the knowledge of the liberal arts is what the next generation is going to need. The next generation of political leaders, social entrepreneurs, private sector leaders, they're going to be the ones who know how to communicate. They're going to be the ones who know how to walk across difference, to deal with people of different ethnic, racial, national backgrounds. Um, they're going to be the ones who know how to take apart problems and put them together in new and creative ways. That is the liberal arts. Um, never has there been a time when the world has needed the kind of people that Denison produces more than it does right now. What's unique about a place like Denison is the total educational experience. It, it starts with what goes on in the classroom, the relationship between a faculty member and a student. But then it's everything else that goes on. It's what goes on in student organizations, in residential halls, on athletic fields. Um, I think uniquely, I've worked across the entire spectrum of the liberal arts. I was a student of Bowdoin College. Um, as a faculty member at Colgate, I, I taught. I was a department chair. Um, I did a brief stint in academic administration and then ran student affairs. Uh, during my time at, at SIT and World Learning, I've been a provost and, and now a sitting president. So I think I bring not just an experience of having worked across the liberal arts environment, but actually a unique understanding of and commitment to not just all the component pieces, but how they uniquely fit together to provide the kind of education that no other kind of institution other than a residential liberal arts college can provide. Let me end with a story. Um, about a month ago, I, I snuck on campus one night and um, I just walked around. I, I talked to students. Um, I watched athletic teams practice. Um, I saw a lot of deer. Um, talked to, to some staff. Um, it was a wonderful, wonderful evening. Sitting on top of that hill, um, I felt a spirit, a sense of tradition, um, a sense of the future. As I texted my wife later on that evening, um, it just was the kind of place that I felt like I'd want to call home. So I'm excited. Um, I'm excited to get to know about the community, more about the community. I'm excited to get to know people, to collaborate. Um, I'm excited to, to be part of what's already a wonderful academic institution as it seeks to move itself forward.